we're going to start seeing a lot more smiling faces soon. New CDC guidelines say that fully vaccinated people may now safely participate in indoor and outdoor activities without wearing a mask or social distancing. If you are fully vaccinated, you can start doing the things that you had stopped doing because of the pandemic. We have all longed for this moment when we can get back to some sense of normalcy. I think it's a great milestone, a great day. It's been made possible by the extraordinary success we've had in vaccinating so many Americans so quickly. To date, more than 154 million Americans have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. That's about 47 percent of the population. The CDC director says the new guidance about masks is based on science. Evidence shows the vaccines are strongly protective, even against mutations of the virus. Still, there are some exceptions to the CDC's new recommendations. Masks are still required for anyone riding on buses, trains, or planes, and in hospitals. Experts acknowledge these guidelines are based on the honor system. Anytime you see someone with a ma without a mask, the risk is to the unvaccinated individual, so people can choose to take that risk, but science and good data suggest that the smart move is to get vaccinated. According to a new AP poll, a wide variety of Americans from different backgrounds have questions and hesitations about the vaccines. A large number of those who remain unvaccinated say they would need to hear their concerns addressed by a credible source before feeling comfortable with the shot. Kazmikia Corbett is hoping to be that person, especially for the black community. If I'm going to be a scientist and I'm going to try to create things that help people and um, benefit human health, then making sure that I translate that um, to people who are most are concerned about it um, seems to be appropriate. Corbett helped lead development of the Moderna vaccine and now spends hours giving plain spoken answers to counter misinformation. In a recent interview with AP, she pointed out that while the clinical trials may have seemed fast to outsiders, scientists have been working on vaccines for earlier cousins of COVID-19 for the last six years. COVID-19 deaths in the U.S. are now at the lowest level in 10 months, a milestone health experts say would not have been possible without vaccines. Caitlin Burke, CBN News.